So then it gets to corporate responsibility. I made the point that companies bear a lot of the responsibility here to build environments in which millennials can thrive. And that's still the case. I mean, the fact of the matter is, as I learned when I did all the research from Leaders Eat Last, is that one of the primary responsibilities of leaders is to build other leaders, to take care of people. This has nothing to do with millennials. This, to, this has to do with good leadership. Good leaders teach other people how to become leaders. And I find that the best companies have robust and remarkable leadership programs. And I don't mean teaching skills. I mean teaching things like uh, work skills, hard skills. I mean teaching things like human skills, like listening or communication or conflict resolution, uh, things like that. Um, that's what the best companies do. In other words, uh, we are asking companies to please just do what they're supposed to be doing. This is not about companies picking up the slack for millennials. This is about companies doing what they're supposed to be doing for all their employees. It will probably have an even more powerful impact on the millennial generation, however, given the environment in which they grew up. So, yes, companies still have a responsibility to uh, develop systems, programs, trainings, peer reviews, new kinds of incentive programs that are different from all of the things that came with us from the 80s and 90s that are for all employees, not just millennials. The millennials will benefit a lot.